Welcome to Probot Here. We focus on the latest and upcoming Apple products for 2023. Get ready to be the first to know about the new releases features and design of the next generation of Apple devices. We cover everything from iPhones to iPads, MacBooks to iMacs, and all other Apple-related products. It's always exciting for Apple fans when the company teases new devices. From the latest iPhone to possible new categories, Apple has a penchant for teasing fans with new technological innovations. It is also why making a list of upcoming new Apple products in 2023 can take a lot of work. Let's look at some of the most anticipated new Apple products. Number 1. 15-inch MacBook Air. Earlier this year, Apple launched the 13.6-inch MacBook Air M2. This new iteration of the popular MacBook sports a new design and is powered by the latest M2 chipset. While the dust still settles around this new MacBook Air, it seems like Apple is set to release a 15-inch MacBook Air in spring 2023. This is a first for MacBook Air as it has never been released with a 15-inch screen. Moreover, this new MacBook Air will most likely include a healthy upgrade over the first M2 chip with a faster clock speed. The chances of this MacBook Air release are quite significant as it's been reported that Apple wants to increase consumer choice in the laptop segment. However, nobody's sure yet if this MacBook Air could replace the 13-inch MacBook Air. In any case, the price for this laptop could be really high, starting as steep as $1,799. Number 2. iPhone 15. With every new year, the hype surrounding a new iPhone increases exponentially. In 2022, Apple introduced some magnificent changes to its 14 Pro lineup of phones. The base model of iPhone 14 barely received any upgrades. Sure the processor and camera system are slightly better than their predecessors. However it still lacked the game-changing Dynamic Island and A16 Bionic chipset. All of this looks set to change with the upcoming iPhone 15 lineup. There's a very high chance of the Dynamic Island and the A16 processor being retained in the iPhone 15 and iPhone 15 Plus. Apart from this talks of the new A17 processor for the 15 Pro lineup are also going on. A new design, new processor, periscope lens technology, and more could be heading with the new lineup of iPhones. However, speculation about the iPhone 15 Ultra has increased as well. Since Apple introduced the Apple Watch Ultra rumors indicate that Apple will expand its lineup of phones to the iPhone 15 Ultra as well. If this is true and a new iPhone model does release expect it to cost significantly more than the Pro Max models. Number 3. Reality Pro Headset. Apple could expand its wares into a new category with a mixed reality headset called the Reality Pro Headset. If this product arrives in 2023 it will cost anywhere between $2,000 to $3,000. There are good reasons for this exorbitant price as well the Reality Pro Headset is set to be the most advanced headset of its kind. Not only will the Reality Pro Headset feature an M2 chip, the same that's inside a Mac, but it will also feature over 10 cameras both inside and outside the headset. Furthermore, the high-resolution displays on the headset will be the best in its class. Just like any other Apple device, the headset will have its own operating system, dubbed Reality OS. With this device Apple could want to create a virtual world, similar to the Metaverse. Nonetheless, there's not much else that we know about the device so far. Number 4. HomePod with a screen. Out of Apple's select product lines the HomePod remains somewhat of a failure while it's excellent for ecosystem fans. The HomePod still fails to beat the likes of Amazon Alexa. For the more advanced users a speaker that combines AI with a screen could be much more useful in the long run a case in point would be the success of the Amazon Alexa show which has done remarkably well. Due to this there's a decent chance that Apple may reinvent the wheel with its next HomePod. Rumors indicate that the next HomePod could come with a screen and Apple TV integration. This would allow users to expand their horizons in terms of a HomePod's uses at the moment it looks like Apple will bring in two types of HomePods. The HomePod TV, integrates with Apple TV, and the HomePod Show, which will be similar to its Amazon counterpart. Whether this happens or not, one thing is clear, Apple will have to make major changes to change the narrative of the HomePod product line. To do this, they'll have to do something radically different. Number 5. MacBook Pro. Talk of a new MacBook Pro is rife in the Apple community. Being at the higher end of the spectrum, the new MacBook Pro could feature updated chipsets from Apple. This update could apply to both the 14-inch and 16-inch models. I doubt that it'll feature any changes in design as Apple is usually pretty stringent with design changes. However, there's little doubt that we'll see performance and battery life updates. 
According to leakers and industry insiders the new MacBook Pro will arrive in March 2023. However consumers will have to be wary of a significant price rise with this new set of laptops. Number 6. Mac Mini When the MacBook Air and MacBook Pro launched with M1 chips almost two years ago a Mac Mini was released as well. Although new MacBooks have been released with M2 chipsets the Mac Mini is nowhere to be seen. However it looks like something better is on the way with two new Mac Mini models on the horizon. It's been reported that both models will sport variations of the M2 chipset. Since Apple is taking longer to bring out the updated Mac Mini there's a good chance that a redesigned version is on the way. The new models could sport a plexiglass top and a smaller chassis furthermore, you can expect the new Mac Mini to have up to 24GB of unified memory. What's surprising is that most of the rumors don't indicate a release date, apart from the year 2023. While the previous Mac Mini was released during the month of November the best guess we can make about the new Mac Mini's release date is the second half of 2023. Number 7. iMac with M3. Although the iMac didn't last too long thanks to the introduction of the Mac Studio people are still hoping for a new iMac. There's even some news from industry insiders that Apple is working on a new iMac with an M3 chipset however we're not sure if this will be a follow-up for the 24-inch iMac or a new model altogether. In any discussion surrounding an iMac with M3, the conversation will naturally flow toward the M3 as well however Apple is currently busy cementing its position with the likes of the M2, M2 Pro, and even the M1 Ultra if an M3 chip is being worked on you can be sure that it will feature a 3 nanometers architecture. Moreover the M3 chip units might be made available in 3 variants, Ibiza Palma and Logos. If we see an M3 chip it will be introduced first with a line of MacBooks only then could it be added to a new iMac. Number 8. Apple Silicon Mac Pro. Considering the leaps and bounds that Apple has taken with its M series of chipsets the currently available Mac Pro looks quite dated this is mostly because the Mac Pro still uses an Intel chipset. So it's guaranteed that we'll see a new Mac Pro with an M2 or M3 chipset. However the development of a lineup of desktops is far more complex than that of MacBooks. Expect a bit of delay in seeing a new Mac Pro. It's also highly likely that despite the gap in releases Apple won't be changing the design of the Mac Pro instead they'll focus on perfecting the internals to deliver a powerful and fluid user experience, since these desktops compete with Intel workstations you could see a rumored M2 Ultra or M2 Extreme chipset in the new Mac Pro. Whatever the case the new Mac Pro looks set to break all records in terms of specifications and pricing. Number 9. 14-inch iPad Pro. It hasn't been too long since Apple released a new iPad Pro with an M2 chipset and ProRes video recording capabilities however these features are available in the proven 12.9-inch display. There are rumors abound that Apple is testing 14-inch iPad Pros in its facilities the primary aim of this increase in display size is to blur the line between using a tablet and a laptop. Nonetheless there are some issues with this idea firstly Apple often changes its existing products to see if these minor changes would help the user experience more often than not they don't materialize in a commercial sense secondly the 12.9 inch iPad Pro is already quite expensive a bigger screen could blow the budget so much that most people won't be interested. Thirdly smaller iPad variants are still quite successful. With all these factors to consider for Apple, a 14 inch iPad Pro may not see the light of day at least not at the earliest. If we see an iPad Pro with a bigger screen expect the product to be at the ultra-premium end of the spectrum. Thanks for tuning in to Probot we hope you enjoyed our latest tech updates reviews and insights. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more engaging content and expert analysis on the most exciting developments in the tech industry. We'll be back soon with even more exciting tech news and information so don't miss out. Thanks again for watching and we'll see you in our next video.